All right, time for another daily challenge with GeoGuessr, one of my favorite websites. If you love to travel and love geography, this is a, a great game to play. Um, there is a free version that allows for five minutes of free play every 15 minutes. A um, couple of different games. You can, you can do this whole trip idea where you go from place to place, um, although it's not really relevant where you are, um, the clues that are given or the... The images from Google Street View that are given um, are of places that may or may not be in the country that the trip takes you to. Um, but you get to choose different types of landmarks like stadiums, museums, bridges, places of worship, uh, beaches, and so on. And you get to try to identify those. Um, and it's just part of a, the gameplay that you can do. The other thing is the, the daily challenge. And the daily challenge is where you get five... Um, five different views and you have to see how close you can get um, each of the five is worth 5,000 points um, so the maximum of course five times five is 25,000 points um, you get a total of five minutes uh, in the free play and no more than three minutes per clue or per view um, so you really have to try to figure it out in about a minute per uh, per street view image um, and it's difficult, and I'm just going to take you through how I approach it. Uh, I'm not really that great at it. Um, sometimes I'm very close if I know the places. Uh, sometimes the clues, uh, the views are, are so strange that you, you just don't know where you are. Uh, in the middle of the desert, not going to be easy. So let's go through and see. we got five minutes. Try to spend about a minute per view and see how many points we can get. We click on the, the daily challenge and then it pops up, um, right? Play the challenge. You've got three minutes per round. You can move, you can pan, you can zoom. Um, and let's see, get ready. So now the five minutes starts. So where are we going first today? All right. We are in a temperate forest. We see some street signs up ahead. Let's see if that can help us at all um, there is a some signage okay we have something that says Petrovice um, it doesn't give me a whole lot to work with but I still got 30 seconds more or less trying to see if there's some more um, Pia Fiedler interesting it almost looks like there's some German words as well Hila Fiedler, Rekiansi Srisko. Hmm. Um, when I see German and um, a slow, uh, Yugoslavia, ex Yugoslavia type language, um, the first thing I think of is Slovenia. So now I'm, I'm out of time if I want to keep that one minute per. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give it a shot somewhere up here in Slovenia near Marburg, near the Austrian border and see how we do um oh, check it was the other side so um, pretty good 3800 points 400 kilometers away let's try it again we're losing time here uh, we got a pedestrian crossing um, it's winter time we've got a bus stop what does the bus stop tell us uh pintana marcha okay so we've got spanish um, bus line number two um, it's flat. Anything about the cars? The colors are, are vibrant. And when the colors are vibrant, I often think um, South America rather than Spain. Uh, Spain tends to be very red. Oh, got something over here. Um, also, when you see American cars, you can often think that it's going to be um, South or Central America. So, uh, again, out of time now. Um, Going to go for uh, somewhere in Central America. I'm going to try Guatemala, Honduras, somewhere in this area. Oh, nope, it was actually in Chile. Not so good, 5,000 kilometers away, only 100 points. All right, what do we got here? We've got Rue de Goljonc. Okay, we're in France. Um, but where in France is a good question. You've got very 
whitewashed buildings. When I see whitewashed buildings, I'm thinking southern France. See if there's anything on any of these. The Maison Blanche. Today, some tourists. Could be on an island somewhere. Antiques. Pedestrians on Sotheby's. La Rochelle. Let's see. Let's see if we can find La Rochelle. France, we're, we're getting low on time again. I think La Rochelle is on the west coast. There's La Rochelle. And there's an island, Isle de Ray. I just saw that on one of the signs. So I'm going to say there. And we're going to guess. And bam, that was a good one. Only 16 kilometers away, but on the right island, 4,900 points. Running out of time here. Wow, this is a dry, dusty landscape. Any any street signs for me to? It uh, doesn't let me move quickly either. That's anything on these signs? Wow. Those penguins over there. That's interesting. We've got a little bit of snow there. Wow. This is this is rough because either it's like southern Chile. Or it could be like Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan. Let's see if we can find any signage because we're under a minute now. We have to start that last round before. Yeah, there we go. Uh, I'm, I'm going to go for somewhere in, in the steppes of, of Eurasia. Um, somewhere over here because of the, the language and the flat okay it actually was in mongolia interesting all right not that great last one we got it right under the gun um 15 seconds to go um let's turn around we're well again you see that sometimes you just you just don't know so let's get up to the the top of the the rise here on this road and see if there's anything um, that we can find people are driving right side Kilometer 216 white sign. I do see some cacti. So definitely either Southern Europe or South America or um, Africa. Anything on the car? We've got a Toyota pickup truck there. Anything on the side of it that could, could help us? No. So we've got two minutes left in the round. You can see here our time has expired for the free play. Um, so we do have a little bit of, of time to, to try to find some. Some indication of where this could be. Not a single street sign or uh, anything specific on the on the cars minute and a half left to, to try to figure this out I mean, the roads are in pretty good shape you see in, in, in Spain it's very rare to have uh, this much lush area um, Oh, it's just not let me move very fast, is it? All right. So if I can't even get up to that that rise to see if there's anything on the other side, it's going to be really difficult to to make any kind of educated guess. There's a street sign, just says no passing. Thirty-seven seconds. Any any signage going in the other direction? None. All right, in a few seconds, I'm just going to have to make a a swag, a silly wild ass guess. Um, I, I'm going to go for the uplands of of Peru, Ecuador, somewhere over here, and see what happens. Well, okay, it, it wasn't great, but at least I was in the right hemisphere. So. 
Anyway, we're done. We can look at the results now. It says you got a little over 10,000 points, which isn't great. It's 40% of the way there. A couple of them were, were good, a couple of them not so good. Yeah. But you get to try every day. So what did we do well? We did these two well in Europe, the France and, and the, the Austria, what I thought was Slovenia, but was Czech, seeing the signs in, in both languages. Um, and the Ile de Ré in La Rochelle, you know, from the clue on the side of the truck in the Sotheby's real estate poster. Um, and then over here, um, we saw this very dry step. Uh, and there are places in, in Chile that look like that. There are places all across this um, part of, of Asia that look like that. So um, it, it was Mongolia. Um, and of course, when you recognize the alphabet, the alphabet is used, you know, all over this area, Russia, Ukraine, Bulgaria, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Mongolia. Um, so it's, it's, it's a little more difficult to try to pick, you know, and then the other two down here in South America, well, I, I was generally correct, but generally correct is not going to get you very far. Um, and some of these areas, like we just, you know, we went for what a uh, half a mile, mile down the road, and you just don't see a single sign. Um, there's very little you can do to figure that out. So anyway, um, that's our that's our challenge for the day. Um, you know, we had a couple that were good. We had one excellent one, the La Rochelle. You know, that first one with Slovenia, uh, Czech Republic was was decent, uh, but then the others were just really lousy today. So I think my highest ever was like 18 or 19,000 points. So uh, you should try this. So geoguesser.com. Uh, I'll put the link in the description below. Uh, check it out. It, it's a lot of fun. And we'll do another one of these challenges pretty soon coming up. All right. So take care. Bye-bye.